Here we go. Let's get her. That's that was a little more aggressive than I meant to imply. Let's get her. I can't hide here anyway. We've we've learned from the past that that doesn't work. Just gonna go in here real quick. There we go. That actually worked. I wasn't sure if doors worked in, in this mode. Oh, we're fine, music. Calm down. Is that... Is that the screen where she watched a movie trailer? Maybe. That is where a screen is. There's probably a ramen shop around here. I mean... Ramen might be one of the most common things. Is that place a ramen shop? I'm not sure. I think there might have been ramen there. I kind of see ramen as being kind of ubiquitous. Go on. Find your way to a destination. It's so dramatic as it keeps cutting back and forth. This is the sneaking song, because you're slowly sneaking. Ah, we're gonna die! You lost her! Oh, it's back to being chill. It's fine. No big deal. Not a care in the world. I know I'm a broken record, but God, I'm so bored of this mode, of this game, of this uh, mini game. It's just so unengaging. There are a few stealth games that turn following a dude into some kind of interesting challenge of some sort, and this is not one of them. It's interesting because, specifically, this company is actually kind of known for taking a bunch of mundane actions and turning them into wacky, ridiculous, and entertaining mini-games that are all overhyped and ridiculous and fun. With a bunch of flair and uh, some weird, unique interface and, like, a weird playfulness and energy. And oftentimes a super... a, uh, a hyper-reality to it. This is just like the most literal interpretation of the scenario. Like this is the same developer that came up with the ridiculous minigame where Kiryu calls w women on the phone at a call center trying to find a date and has to like figure out how to, like that whole weird thing where you're like dodging around and trying to get the one good answer while avoiding all the ba bad or confusing bizarre answers and it's like a weird shooter and like all that weird stuff that was happening in that minigame. Or like the dance mini game and stuff like that, and then there's this. And I'm, the the pinball thing was a throwaway mechanic, but this is like one of the core mechanics, and it's like, it just doesn't have like the life and energy to it that this developer often does have. That guy, isn't he? Oh my god! He set you up! It's the thing I guessed immediately. Why is she with him? I think I better get this conversation on a record. So how's the horny Hinata thing going? Sounds like a real fiasco. 
Yeah, he's been super depressed. I think the agency is going to fire him soon, too. <laughs> Sounds like it's finally your turn to shine, Kotatsu-kun. Yep. Son of a bitch was getting real cocky lately, too. Serves his dumb ass right. What a fucking idiot. He fell for it hook, line, and sinker. He had no freaking clue how old you were. You should have seen his face when he found out. Oh god, I bet it was hilarious. Uh, yep, this is going places. I better get a photo for insurance. And then this guy gets accused of being into underage girls. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hey, you two. Sounds like you've been busy lately. Excuse me? You set up a honey trap with your own girl? You're a real bastard, aren't you? Who the hell are you? Doesn't matter. But just so you know, I've got a record of that entire conversation you just had. Not to mention a photo of you having a good time with a minor. What? I bet I know a few magazines that would pay big money for a shot like this. So if I were you, I'd come clean about what really happened. Y you bastard! Nobody screws with me! I'll fucking kill you! Uh, I don't recommend trying. I'm a black belt in karate, motherfucker! You'll be sorry you underestimated me! I... Uh, no. <laughs> One hit! I'm a back- I'm a black belt in karate, motherfucker! <laughs> Stretchy rubber. I got- I, I picked it up during the animation of me. Like that. <laughs> Not only did I one-shot him, I got an item out of the animation. <laughs> like... <laughs> that couldn't have been more, like, set up. That pain you're feeling right now? I'm sure Hinata-san's going to feel worse when he finds out who betrayed him. Damn it! What was all that about a black belt? Pretty pathetic. Huh? What did you- what do you want? The truth. Huh? Considering the situation you're in, I don't think you want to go down the, as this guy's accomplice. So let's hear it. Kotatsu asked me to. He did? Yeah. He was jealous of how popular Hinata was getting, so he figured he could set him up and profit off of it too. The whole thing was his idea. So the money was good enough to make you sleep with another guy? How much are we talking? I got the tabloids to pay for the story and Hanada's agency to pay damages. It was about five million in total. Wow. Five million. I guess to a minor that'd be, that'd be quite a payday. That'd be a payday for you, sir. This whole game has netted you like one million. I'm not a minor. Really? I had a hunch. How old are you really? I'm 22. So you've been lying about your age the whole time. How do you convince the tabloid? I pretended to be my little sister and I showed them, them her school ID. And they don't publish the names of minors in magazines, so it worked. Huh. Distressing. No, the, the plan, not the, the part where they anonymize minors. I see. So now your poor little sister has a rep for sleeping with a guy she's never even met? They didn't publish her name. She's totally safe. Well, it sounds to me like you've got another story to sell, Hachitani-san. Huh? But, but... You're going to say Hag uh, Higurashi here threatened you into doing it, but your moral compass made you come clean. Mm. But that would be portraying Kotatsu. I would. Uh, it would. But have you considered how well it's going to pay? Oh, I'll do it! Wow, you have no moral compass. <laughs> Classy as they come. Son of a bitch. Oh. Hiranuma-san? I just wanted to thank you for giving me that tip. Oh, hey, did you find any leads? Forget leads, I've got the whole scoop. Oh, do go on. I'd say the public and the media are in for quite a shocker. And I've got the proof and a witness all lined up, so... You interested? Very! Let's hear it! Can I get a cut from him, too, for the story? Just get paid by, like, three different people? So the short version is... Higurashi coerced you into setting up Hanada? 
Do you have that straight? Do I have that straight? Is Hikarushi just like laying on the floor still or what? Yep, that's the whole story. This is incredible, Yagami-san. Are you sure you're okay with giving me this exclusive? Yeah, I don't mind. I'm not even a real journalist. Huh? I'm sorry I lied, but I'm actually a local detective. I didn't mean to trick you. Why don't you just say so from the start? Well, that sure makes for an interesting spin, huh? I'm looking forward to your article. Leave it to me. I'm gonna head straight back to the office and start typing it up. Nice. And Yagami-san, if you ever get any more scoops like this, I hope you'll call me. And if I've got it, your and if I've got info, it's yours. Gotta give before you take, right? Yep. See you around. Mmm. He might be a new character to interact with then. Which means that this quest might unlock other quests, actually. Because we might have just met the character we need for our future events. You never know. <laughs> I've got to say, watching Kotatsu's press conference was really satisfying. I hear he's on an indefinite hiatus. Yeah, his whole stand-up shtick getting, is getting angry at the drop of a hat. And he was sobbing like a baby. And thanks to you... I'll be back up on stage myself pretty soon. Congratulations. It's all thanks to you, Yagami-san. I am forever in your debt. Nah. I just went where the truth took me. No way, man. I owe you a drink, at least. Sure. But wouldn't it be kind of lame for a couple guys to go out drinking? Maybe I should call up a girl. Dude, give me a break. <laughs> Too easy, man. I'll see you soon. Money. More money for my money pile. <laughs> I wonder what that that boost gave me. It does not seem to mean that the ones at 50% go above 50%. And it's not going to give me like a multiplier on how much money I'm putting in. So all I can guess is that it makes them hit 50% faster, I suppose. That would make some sense. I'll probably buy these parts when they max out, because uh, half price definitely makes them a lot cheaper, at least. We shall see. I'm pretty sure this is useless to me, because it tells me... Well, no, it might be it might be telling me where the QR codes that I need for, for my upgrades are. That's worth looking into. Because some of those are hidden away still. Hidden away still. Hidden away still. Omurais. It's a chow time. She gives me so much food. This is like enough food to live on. That's a, that's a sweet gig. That just gets rid of food expenses. This requires level 30, level 50, level 35, level 45, level 50. Okay, so do not come back here. We are, we are done with uh, Yagami Agency as a source of side quests until I hit level 30 was the first one, I think. Oh. So, the moment I get one more reputation point, I can then qualify for that mission. Gotcha. That's... It's pretty soon. In fact, I could probably hit one of, I could probably hit that milestone instantly if I... put the money into that thing. But I feel like they might be faking me out. Either way, I want to spend as little money as possible on that if I can. So I should wait for the 50%. But, uh... They could be faking me out. It might be like a... Each time you think it's going to be finally done, and then, it, then it's not for like five times, maybe. Because the first time it gave me half his things, that, that that made it feel like doing it, <clears throat> doing it the one time was going to make it uh, instantly done. But then th that just made it so it only filled up by another 25% instead of 50%. And then it's like, ooh, we got another one to go. And like you could fractally keep increasing it by only 50% of the current gap. And it could always be, oh, just a little more. Which is kind of how some Kickstarter projects are when they morph out of control. That actually might be... What's going on there? What's going on over here? Ooh, that's a new one. Eh, oh, that's a new one. At Bon Tom. So we have two new friends to look into. And either one of them can help me get that, rep that one reputation I need for the mission. But let's also pick up the next uh, lockpicking mission. Even if I don't want to run straight to that location, I might as well pick it up. Since I'm kind of in the area, and then when I'm kind of in the area of the lockpicking spot, I might do that one. Makes sense. 
No, don't notice me. I don't want to deal with your shit. I'm done with the random encounters right now. They don't actually help me out in a lot of ways. <clears throat> I managed to do it somehow. Well, here's your payment for today. You pay so little. You're pretty good at what you do. I'll be counting on you again. I'm not surprised that you only get that much money for this kind of job. It's just that in in universe or in game, it's like so little money. Oh, it's right here. Neat. Oh, quickly talk to her. Ah, no. Go away. You've interrupted my. Oh, please, please do it. Ah! Dang. I missed my window, or, may or maybe, maybe he didn't do the right attack. Can you get this open? It's the lock picking. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Uh, ah. Ah, shit. Gotta be careful. Very sensitive. There we go. You're so talented. I'm not. <laughs> I'll glance at it as I go, but I'll generally just not read the dialogue and just quickly get out of the way. Because this is a whole chain. No! I swear to God, I'm done. Oh no, I want to do the spinning attack. You, you wasted it. Dude, I've got a to-do list, and you are in the way of that to-do list. At what point does, like, the, the population get thinned out? No. Unfortunately, you can't tell the game. No, I don't want to do the heat action. I want to do a spinny spinny, which is the same button. Ow. Or maybe you can... No! I fell for it again. Muscle memory is a bitch. All right. God damn. Part of the issue is that I've gotten used to triangle being my get up quickly at button. Even if it's not, like, not even necessarily as being an attack each time. It's just a way to escape being stuck on the ground. Ah. Down. Sirubu sit. You're also here. I didn't detect you helping in any way, but hello. Yeah. I'm the best at what I do, and what I do is pretty mundane, actually. Alright, that one's far away. So, later. It'd be a pretty boring episode if I just ran after, like, all, like, eight objectives that are apparently in that job. And just ran from point to point. I could run at them all off camera and just do the entire quest chain and then just show you guys the ending of it. But I'm kind of holding out hope that, like, something will happen. Oh, I have to go in this bu building. Gotcha. I'm kind of holding out, holding out hope that, uh... <clears throat> that, uh... Some kind of twist will happen, or some kind of event will happen at one of the locations. Yagami-san! Yagami -san. So we meet again. You're that journalist from before. The name's Hiranama, Hiranuma. I'm actually just a freelancer now. But that's neither here nor there. That was fast. Went through life changes in the oh, no. 10 seconds till I last saw you. Sorry to throw this at you, but I hear you're not only a detective, but also a jack of all trades. Is that right? Mm. Well, it depends on which jack and which trades. Not sure where you heard that, but I'll take a case as long as it's up my alley. Most of the time. 
I see. Then I have a job for you. I need you to take some pictures of a certain someone. I'll be compensating you, of course. How does 50,000 yen sound? Yeah. That'd be nice. Who's this certain someone you need pictures of? You know Kotatsu Hiragushi, right? The guy who framed Horny Hinata? He's apparently been on hiatus ever since the whole, whole fiasco. So I need you to get me his picture. Mm -hmm. What could you possibly do with that, though? Well, apparently he's going through some hard times. Heard his agency has been keeping him from appearing on TV and such. And since he can't land gigs on his own, he was resorted to pestering customers on Senrio Avenue as a barker. <laughs> Frankly, I thought that sounded pretty funny, so I wanted to see it for myself. He's really fallen down the hole, hasn't he? Yep. Maybe he thought it'd be easier to pull people in, given his 15 minutes of fame. If you could call it that. But anyway, would you mind helping me out? Try to guess, get as close as you can. Should be pretty easy to get close if he's just in the street hanging out. Oh. Not you, that guy. I was just trying to buy a beer. That's expensive. Whew. It sure is. Anyway. Uh, can, can I fit more? Nope, I cannot. Don't want me to sp <laughs> spending way too much. Why did I do that? That was too much to go in on. I'm just, that's not worth trying to complete these bars. <laughs> but he got a coupon, whoa! That was too much. I'm gonna admit something. I, I, that was a mistake. I went a little faster and kind of thought that what I was doing, while expensive, was like a factor of 10 smaller in comparison to how much money I had. And I was very wrong about that. I kind of spent a lot of my money just now. It's fine. It keeps coming back. Well used rubber. What? What the fuck? I'm pretty sure that's just like a rubber ring. So either that's the ring at the end of a condom, or you're just really awkwardly phrasing really innocent objects. Well used rubber. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm a mess. All right. So that was. I, I went a little too. Hiranuma's right next to my place I work at? What a coincidence. What is he barking for then if he's right there? I definitely just blew a bunch of money. Like way more than I meant to. I thought it was a smaller amount than that. And then I just kind of clicked on it too fast. It's fine. Although it really makes my attempts to save money on other locations sillier. Although I can't save money on the alcohol if I'm trying to buy it, buy it all. I just should have probably waited till later in the game. But we're still, we still got a, about a million. We're good. Ah, there he is. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you over there. Want to see some voluptuous vixens today? Looks like you could get used the attention. Did, did he not notice me? The guy that, like, knocked him the fuck out? Huh? Isn't that... Higurashi? Higurashi? Hey, Higurashi! Do that thing you always do, you know, with your eyeballs. You want me to see something to do with my balls, huh? And how about I whip him out, out my dangly leather sack and then we'll see who's laughing. Uh, let's get out of here. His new material is terrible. Yeah, you really got off the deep end. You think I'd feel sorry for you? What? Fine then, get out of here. Bunch of cheap shits. Uh, he's not good at any of his jobs. Wow, he really has no shame, does he? I doubt he'll be making a comeback anytime soon. Well, time to get that photo. I need to get as close as I can. How do I pull out the camera? Oh, race camera. Kind of far, but this should work. I, damn it! Wait, I don't get to. I don't get a second chance. Ha! Nailed it. Now that's a solid picture. Guess it's back to shellac for me. Fuck! It's not gonna be close enough, is it? They they said multiple times, get as close as you can. 
I figured I would take multiple pictures getting progressively closer until I got like caught or whatever and then, then that was like, nope, you broke the- you were past the threshold, you can't get that close. And then they'd be like, joke's on you, I took a picture when I was further away, just in case. Go away! Holy crap. Well, time to suffer the consequences one way or another. Oh right, it's over here. Over here. Hiranuma san, I believe you wanted this. And Yagami san delivers the goods. That was fast. Yeah, I can definitely use this. I can almost see the headline already. Here's a little something for your trouble. Well, looks like it's back to the office for this guy. Thanks. Sure thing. Let me know if you need any more help. What? It was fine? They said to get as close as you can like four times, and even in the end he was like, well, I don't know, it's a little far, and then it was fine, apparently. I guess I should have done that fight a moment ago, because then I could have been sober again and bought even more alcohol. Huh. Well, that resolved cleanly. Hmm. I guess it's one of those cases where a, a game implies some level of uncertainty or challenge or, like, test when one doesn't exist, which there's actually a lot of games like that. I think of, like, things where you're running away from stuff, and then the thing that is chasing you actually basically can't catch you, for example. Or at least it's incredibly hard, and variations like that. Or just various times in games where it looks like you can die, but actually, n you super can't. Fun fake out. Ah. The bartender's the person. Oh, it's you, sir. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, what's going on? You look pretty wiped out. Oh, my apologies. It's just that lately we've had our fair share of tiresome customers, you could say. Is it the fight we had in here earlier? Because that might be it. Or the litigation and the fame. Tiresome customers. Ah, I apologize. I'm sure you don't want to hear me griping. Actually, I wouldn't mind hearing you out. Very well, then. I was about to say that I've been dealing with people who don't have the slightest idea how to order. Oh, that's not any of the problems I thought you were having. Tell me. What do you think is the most troublesome kind of customer for a bartender? Huh. Now there's a question. Don't order alcohol? I mean, they might have non-alcoholic options. Oh yeah, customers who will leave it up to you. Because you, they, cause you, they're always thinking of something else. Precisely. A lot of customers think that they're being savvy by ordering whatever I recommend, but in truth, it throws me off. Although I'm confident in each and every item on our menu, I have no idea how to tell the, what the customer really wants. Because, yeah, the, they're leaving the possibilities way too open on the spectrum of things they could get. And they're... They... They're... Just, it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing as I'm not a mind reader, I simply don't know what to make for them. I can see how that might be giving you a headache. For instance, what if a customer refuses to drink it? That! Or it might not suit their taste. That's why I appreciate a little more information on orders like those. I see. I guess it's better than... It's better to put a little more effort into getting to know the bartender, huh? Indeed. It's different for regular customers, since I already know their preferences. Then I'd better stop by more often, so you know what to get for me. <laughs> ah, please do! Would you like me to get, to get something started? Joke's on you, I just order everything on the menu until a completionist milestone is, is achieved. Mwahaha. <laughs> Am I even able to order anything? I, I can. One item. So I'm, I'm pretty drunk already. Super Nika. Super Nika. I wonder... Huh. I guess I'll just stop by later, or after I've ordered everything on their menu. And then he'll have some kind of cool recommendation. That's probably what it is. 
you probably order everything on their menu and then at the end it's like yo i got one special drink to recommend you and that's how you unlock the final item on their menu like you do most of the time i got you down to a science game i know what you're doing